Darion Caldwell, and Enrique Barzola in the Bantamweight division rankings. Both guys not doing too good in their last five fights. 34 years old and 32 and a half years old. Darian, three inches taller and three inches lengthier, is going to be um, the slightly, slightly more Bella. Um, I would say more professional MMA experience. I mean, he's been fighting in Bellator since 2014. Fought some really, really solid guys. Anthony Dizzy, a PFL, PFL fighter, half Hill Silva, really good veteran. Sean Bunch, Joe Warren, um, Deontro Higo, very solid guy. Kyoji Horiguchi twice. Henry Corrales, Adam Bodich, AJ McKee Jr., Leandro Higo. All of these guys right here, I would say, are much, much stiffer and better competition than what Enrique Barzola has faced. I mean, he's faced... Uh, uh, I would say Brandon Davis, decent, Gabriel Benitez, solid, Chris Avila, Horacio Gutierrez, Brandon Davis, Bobby Maffetz, and yeah, he's fought Moser, Eve Louis, and Kevin Aguilar, those type of guys. I'm not saying that the guys that Darian Caldo has fought are better than Moser, Eve Louis, because I believe Moser would probably beat most of those guys, but I'm saying the overall stretch of guys that Darion has fought, much, much better than Enrique Brazola overall, I would say, but I do believe that Darion Caldo will be having the wrestling advantage the striking is going to be very very similar i think uh if the fight stays on the feet for three straight rounds slightly going to go Enrique Barzola, but I think the takedowns will be mixed in for Darion Caldwell, um, and he will kind of keep it even on the feet, take the, take him down, a little bit of ground and pound, and that will be enough to at least win two out of the three rounds. The wrestling will be the key factor here, so I'm going to go Darion Caldwell by unanimous decision, 29-28.